हाय दिस इज आई डी सी फोर फाइव ऑन सेमिनार डिलीवरी माई टॉपिक ऑफ रिप्रेजेंटेशन इज पेरी हिलियन प्रेजेशन एंड मर्करी आई एम अंकित यादव फोर्थ ईयर स्टूडेंट फ्रॉम डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ फिजिकल साइंसेज एजर मोहाली दिस इज द रेफरेंस ऑफ माई प्रेजेंटेशन एंड दिस इज द आउटलाइन ऑफ माई प्रेजेंटेशन I will shortly introduce the historical background which led to the solving the mysterious perihelion precession of mercury. I will shortly review the classical approach uh, to calculate the trajectory of mercury. After that, I will review the social solution which is indeed the solution of general theory of relativity. After that, I will discuss the result plot by me using the prediction of the general theory of relativity and uh, after that i will conclude my presentation okay let's start with the introduction observation and prediction of astronomical events have fascinated astronomers from centuries in the night sky stars seem to be fixed in their patterns most cultures have used the constellation to predict time because of the unchanging nature of stars in the night sky over the season however planets are different they glide slowly across the sky many astronomers and physicists have tried to explain the planetary motion which led to the better understanding of gravity and the motion of the planets ancient greek philosophers have conflicting theory about the Five planets move across the sky. Ptolemy and his followers believe in the geocentric theory, uh, in which Earth is assumed to be the center of universe. Here you can see that uh, uh, if, uh, Earth is uh, assumed to be the center of universe, and the stars and the sun and all other planets are expected to move around the Earth. In the 16th century, Nicolaus Copper, uh, Nicolaus Copernicus proposed the heliocentric theory. Uh, in which Sun was assumed to be the center of universe, and the uh, all planets, stars are the expected uh, supposed to move around the Sun. The existence of heliocentric solar system gradually mounted uh, when Galileo observed the moons of Jupiter with his telescope. This was the first time when the this was the first time of the human history when telescope was used to observe the planets. This observation refuted the geocentric theory. Uh, at the same time, Kepler published a series of laws to describe the planetary motion around the sun. Building on the Kepler's laws, Newton explained the concept of gravity uh, which is can we say the f is equal to g m one m two upon r square if the okay. in eighteen forty six uh, Leverrier predicted the eighth planet based on the Newton's theory of gravity to explain the perturbation in Uranus object orbit which was correct and uh, when astronomers pointed the telescope in the direction of uh direction predicted by him they indeed found a planet uh, similar perturbation was observed in the mercury's orbit uh, which needed a massive object near to the sun compared to the mercury nearer to the sun compared to mercury to explain the perturbation but when astronomers pointed their telescope uh, near the sun and there was no massive object found and the uh, astronomers began to doubt the newton's theory mm. then albert einstein came albert einstein came along uh, in 1950 1915 he published the general theory of relativity that perfectly explained the mysterious perihelion precession of mercury and uh, other uh, gravity related problems we will review the prediction of prediction made by general theory of relativity 
uh, in compared to the classical theory okay uh, let's review the classical approach in the classical approach only central potential of the sun was used to calculate the trajectory of mercury mm. uh, for this potential uh, the lagrangian can be written by this and uh, by solving this lagrangian we will get the euler lagrange equation uh, for uh, the for r theta and phi after simplifying the relation for r uh, this relation is obtained which is indeed the elliptic trajectory which i will show in few minutes now let's review the social solution which is the solution of the einstein equations from the social metric lagrangian can be written in this way after solving the euler lagrange equation of motion this differential equation is obtained it is similar to the classical approach solution with this extra term this extra term can be treated as the perturbation term and after solving the differential equation using perturbation method uh, we get this relation uh, for which uh, the precession is given by this term okay uh, let's discuss the result uh, obtained by the both theories classical and social solution uh, for the classical approach the orbits are elliptic uh, as expected uh, i have plotted these orbits using the relation derived earlier uh, from this it is clear that uh, classical theory uh, could not explain the anomalous anomalous precession of mercury and uh, these are the plots for the uh, mercury predicted by general theory of relativity one can clearly see the perturbation in mercury's orbit as time passes the calculated value of perihelion precession due to the sun uh, is uh, 42.94 arc second per century which is pretty, pretty close to the missing 43 arc second per century in the precession of mercury till now general theory of relativity has been incredibly successful there are various other tested uh, uh, suggested by einstein himself such as bending of light the uh, perihelion precession of mercury and others which can be explained by general theory of relativity uh let's see the recent study of the general theory of relativity uh, which was applied by the ESO on the prediction of Merc uh, s2 orbit star s2 orbit along uh, around the black hole sagittarius a they observed the uh, path of star s2 for approximately uh, three decades and the path of the star was completely matched with the trajectory predicted by the general theory of relativity mm -hmm. uh, these are the plots for the star s2 Uh, which I have plotted using the prediction of general theory of relativity. With this, I will end my presentation. Thank you.